All right, good morning. So we are at a property and I'm sure I'm trying to get my stuff out now because there's a lot of landscaping going on, a lot of noise. But we're at a property I was previously at. We had issues with a TXV. It was some weird refrigerant issues going on. And we come to the conclusion it was the indoor TXV. So today we are replacing this indoor TXV to see if it fixes it. If you guys are interested in the other video, I'll put a link in the description. But it's just a few videos back. Um, but we're going to get started. I'm recovering refrigerant. We're going to add and use all new refrigerant in this situation. And I'm going to change the line dryer. So uh, stick with me and we'll get all that done. This is a train, so a really easy TXV replacement. It's just bolt on, bolt off. Um, yeah, so let's get started. <laughs> So done recovering, I got all of it out, and now I'm going to go ahead and set my nitrogen to the brace. I'm going to go ahead and do the line dryer since they have the line dryer outside. I always recommend putting it on the inside here in Florida near the water, but we're just going to get it set. Got to hop this fence, and I got to do the line dryer over there. Alright, when I'm dealing with close quarters like this, you can have a heat shield if you want, but I like to uh, get a rag, big, a big rag, and open that valve. You can actually open this valve here if you want. And the water heater. I just like to drench it. It's not hot water because it didn't take long to drench this. And then I will, it's going to be this one that we're changing. So I will weave this through. I'm going to just put everything. The issue is uh, we don't have a lot of slack to just cut it out. So I'm going to have to sweat it out. So I almost messed up. I knew which one it was, and when I was talking to the camera, I got the line dryers mixed up. Um, this started blowing out some refrigerant, and then it got me thinking, before I got too far in there and it exploded in my face, I said, well, let me double check. This one goes to the other unit, which we need to change on both anyways. Um, I was just gonna do one to show you guys. But we need, I need to do the same on the other unit, technically. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do both line dryers now. So I'm recovering the refrigerant in the other one. I almost made a disaster. I'm just glad that I was going kind of slow on that, so. All right, well, we will continue on. Alright, we're in the attic now. 
I'll show you guys how to change this TXV on this one right here. It's very easy. First, we're going to start with taking the doors off. So this one is a bolt-in to bolt-in. That one is not. So we're going to have to take this out and we're going to have to sw uh, brace in this fitting here that this comes with. Fun, fun. Alright, old one's out. New one's going back in. When you're putting this back in, you want to pay attention to the orientation of this. Um, some people like to put the TXV in there. Um, but I, sometimes I don't like to do that because you might get that if you do the o-rings You might get an issue with the o-rings. So I'm just gonna imagine how that TXV is going in Orientate this the right direction and then I'm gonna brace it real quick Okay, so when putting this TXV on you want to finger tighten this you do not want to Start it and then tighten it all the way with your tools. So that's just cause just help prevent stretching, stripping out anything. And now we tighten it down. Put her back together. Usually you don't put the doors on because you want to pressure test it and make sure you ain't got no leaks. I got confidence, but if we mess up, I will show you my mistakes. Uh, so you guys can learn from my mistakes. But I went ahead and put the doors on just so we don't have to come up here really again. Just maybe just to check temperature and uh, get all this equipment out. But let's head down. All right, so I got this unit pressure testing or nitrogen this unit's on the vacuum trying to multitask here so I'm pressure testing I got it adding this one's already pulling down pretty quick I'm gonna get this one up to about 150 I'm almost almost out so we're gonna get as much in as we can then I'm gonna pressure test it a little set and see what happens so we got it sitting 944. We got it setting at 154 ish, 154.5. And then 
this vacuum is going down pretty quick, so we'll let it run for a while. And we're just going to give it about 15, 20 minutes and see what it does. So you can do a uh, tightness test if you want. It's a uh, start. You just gotta, I just turn these clamps on to get atmosphere temperature. Uh, and I just let it do its thing. All right, so the other one's still pulling the vacuum. I let this one set as long, I like it longer. It's at 42 minutes right now. So I think uh, we are good to go on that nitrogen pressure test. I'm gonna let it all out. And we're gonna get done with this vacuum and then start on this vacuum. This vacuum's almost done. We're at about 700 microns right now. So yeah, let's uh, let this out and go from there. Now I like to just blow it all out the suction line because all the oil got to build up in the suction line. As you can see all that oil to do that a couple times if that vacuum is struggling. I just knew there's going to be a lot of oil in that one. So this one's on the vacuum. Add refrigerant to this one. And then we're going to run it and make sure we're good to go. Pressures look good. I'll run it in cool mode and uh, when we're all done we'll run them both in heat mode just to double check everything. This one's taking a long time. I had triple, triple vac it. I had to add the second hose to get it going. This one's just taking a while. All right, so we still got a little bit of going on. It's gonna, it's going down pretty quick now. We got almost all of that gunk out of there. Once that reaches 500 microns or a little below it, we'll. Uh, We'll disconnect and get refrigerant going. But it is taking a long time. It's 12 o'clock already. So I got two hoses. We're almost done. Um, I'll get back with you guys when we're adding refrigerant. But yeah, uh, we're almost there. Alright, we just got under 500. I'm going to let it run for just an extra minute to get it down a little lower and then add the refrigerant. All right, so I weighed in the refrigerant. I'm probably gonna add a little bit since it goes up pretty high, but I'm gonna let it run for a little bit first to see where we're at, and then I'll add. Our issue that we're having before is we were having high suction, nothing like that. They got TXB was getting stuck open upstairs. Right now it looks like it's doing pretty good. Full mode is good. I put it on, just put it on true suction. Um, sub cool is good. We're maintaining a good pressure. Um, I'm gonna run up there now, and we're gonna switch it to heat mode and see what the heat mode looks like. All right, so this is what's happening now. It's a different uh, issue. Now that we replaced the indoor TXV, we got cooling is working fine, but uh, I took a picture but the heat mode is 156 over 408. Like it's just high suction. So now I gotta come back and do this TXV. Fun, fun.